So in today's video we are going to speak if Pepe can actually reach $1 or to be more realistic can it actually reach 1 cent. So I did saw a lot of videos by influencers trying to kind of like make more hype than be honest. So today I'm going to cover it and if you're following my channel you know that I'm always honest. We are going to speak about if Pepe can reach $1. We will also mention price prediction of me for Pepe and of course there is something what I did last night basically I uploaded video showing you secret dev wallets and I'm kind of like 100% sure now that those wallets are, are from devs and I'm going to speak about that as well so keep that in mind and let's start so first thing which I want to cover is this over here so you can see that Pepe is ranked 2614 which is actually not true if you see over here their market cap is 110 million which means that that they, their play should be over here around 250 and over here you can also see according to go plus labs the contract owner might contain authority to modify the transaction tax and contain blacklist function please be careful and do your own research and pretty much they actually did reanalyze the contract which means this is not true so then we are coming to question why is pepe rank 2614 and why this is over here so i have no clue what cmc have against pepe but it kind of looks that they're trying to sabotage it so i don't know what they want maybe they want some tokens because i did heard that if you want this to be removed from cmc that you can pay to some people and that usually cost around four thousand dollars so I'm not sure if they're trying something like this, but let's not go deep into it. Instead of that, let's see what Pepe needs to do to reach one cent. And also just to mention, if you are like hoping that Pepe will reach one dollar, it won't happen because that's way too much. But I will show you what needs to happen to Pepe to reach one cent. So if we compare Pepe market cap with Doge market cap, which is currently number one meme coin, you can see that Dogecoin market cap is 98 times higher than Pepe. And if somehow, but I truly don't believe into it, if somehow Pepe reach market cap of Doge, Pepe will be worth 0 0.000026. Even after that, Pepe needs to kill more than two zeros to be worth one cent which I do truly believe it's impossible. So instead of that, let's speak about price prediction. And of course, please remember that I'm not financial advisor and everything in this video is made only for content. So first let's compare Pepe to some other memes. For example, there is Dogecoin. You know, Dogecoin is first meme. They're kind of like supported by Elon Musk. So this is their huge thing. Then you have Shiba Inu, which kind of like trying to compare itself to dogecoin they are making like a lot of progress they are trying to make utility ecosystem metaverse basically everything they also have their own swap so i don't know if that's actually like meme now or actual utility but i'm not fan of shiba so please don't try to buy it. Then in last bull market in 2021 we got baby dogecoin and like you can see in baby dogecoin it's sitting on 331 million market cap which is three times higher than pepe and there is actually five percent tax if you buy or sell so if you're holding baby dogecoin basically over time you will get more and more tokens with every single transaction and then we are coming to pepe with 110 million market cap and this token actually has nothing instead of being me so if you go to their website over here you can see Pepecoin has no association with Matt Fury or his creation of Pepefrog. This token is simply meme we all love and recognize. And Pepe is meme coin with no expectation or financial returns. There is no formal team or roadmap and coin is, com coin is completely useless and only for entertaining purposes, which means they're pretty much even though they're not dogs, they are simply saying to everyone that this is nothing, just a pure contract and nothing else just a name over here if we go to their roadmap you can see that roadmap is pretty basic and it's not good first phase launch coin get blah blah 1000 holders this is something what i hate a lot when they put holders in the roadmap then over here basically same 10,000 holders phase three hundred thousand holders 
meme take over pretty much nothing and then over here they're saying all jokes aside we don't want to give everything on day one expect surprises along the way which means they have nothing and please do not expect nothing so why am i even showing you this so it's really simple you can see dodge supported by elon you can see shiba a lot of utility they're trying to do something you can see this baby dodge of course this is like also mean but they have reflection and taxes and you're pretty much gaining anything but over here it's just pure name like i said you cannot expect anything at all if you're following their twitter if you are on their telegram you can see that there is basically no updates whatsoever they are active for eight days and in last two days they have two twitter posts and they have like three pin message in telegram which is basically nothing and uh, it's just about some scam now you can say all right but they are like getting listed they are working they are getting listed on like so many centralized exchanges well that is true but there is big catch when we are speaking about this because those exchanges want to be listed they are not working hard for those exchanges to list them because those exchanges are making insane amount of money because if you are using decentralized exchange like Uniswap, you're gonna pay a lot of fees, Ethereum fees, but if you are using those centralized exchanges like Gate.io, Huobi and all others, they are also taking fees, it's not that high and that's why a lot of volume is going through them and they're making insane amount of money. So if there is something what has volume, exchanges wants to be part of it and they will list that token. It's not that hard. If you have volume, they will list you. And then we are coming to last part, which I told you that I want to speak about. So I found in my last video, like around 15 wallets, which I think it's around devs. I showed you proofs, but there is something what I forget to say. So all those wallets are funded by Fixed Float. You can see over here, you can see over here. I will not show you like every single address because it's enough only two. You have it in my last video. You can go over there and check everything. But the thing why I'm now sure that those are team wallets is pretty simple. So they got transferred the funds to buy into Pepe token 17 days ago and they launched nine days ago, which means all those like 15 wallets were created only to buy Pepe token. If you go to token transfers, you can see over here that they did not buy anything at all until Pepe. You can see it over here. We can go to another one and you can see it over here as well. So what I think happened is that they prepared really well. They prepared wallets one week before and that's why I think that those are actual devs. So then my price prediction what I think is going to happen over here but please before I say it if this video gets 4,000 likes I will actually go and I will buy $10,000 of Pepe. So go and like this video and then my prediction for Pepe I really think that is gonna go maximum until 300 million market cap because in video which I'm going to upload tomorrow I actually find wallet which are I think from devs and those wallets started selling so it's gonna be pretty interesting and please I want a lot of people to see this video so please go over there and share it with everyone who is holding Pepe but like I said I don't think that this is gonna go more than 300 million I'm more betting that is gonna go to zero so like always I wish you best of luck and see you tomorrow